Welcome once again. We've got the 4500 PSI air compressor from Walmart. It's less than 150 bucks. And I'm showing you the owner's manual, the little replacement kit. They do not recommend opening up these air compressors, period. The little, com the, the little accessories they give you is all for the hose, believe it or not. So they do not want you opening up these compressors. I just had a Weber compressor go, go out on me in two weeks. So I tried to open it up and figure out what's going on. I found a torn O-ring, but of course, none of the O-rings they gave me were the ones I needed because I went into the internal parts where you're not supposed to go. So with all these compressors, they actually build them pretty solid, but the problem is they'll blow out those O-rings because they can't handle 4,500 PSI. Even though they advertise at 4,500 PSI, every one of them are popping at 4,500 PSI. And the one, if ever, the brand new one I've had, maybe less than two weeks, I probably got five to six 4,500 PSI fills out of it. I tried to do videos on every one of them. And luckily, Vever gave me my money back because they saw the video and didn't even want to mess with it so buyer beware For, as of right now I am super impressed with this one and I couldn't believe how fast the compression test was less than 30 seconds went all the way up to 4500 PSI with their standard hose on there I'm thinking about putting a bigger one on there with a bigger fatter uh, oil and, wa and water separator on it so I'm going to shut up so you can hear. That's the jumper cable that you plug into that little yellow hook up there. And you hook those little cables up to your battery. And you can now charge your gun up on the road. That's pretty cool. I was thinking about taping a uh, PC battery to it. And use that as a power source. And have it make it a portable power. It'd make it a little bulkier, but I can build a cage for it. As you can see, I'm doing a compression test now. Look how fast it's going up. Wow. That was awesome. Now I'm going to show you where I'm at on my gun, where the Weber stopped filling up at, and this one's going to take over and see how long it takes me to get to 4,500 PSI. going to have to go far. So I did my compression test and filled my gun up to 4,500 PSI and it never got over 24 Celsius, which is really good. Also, we're going to test out my new, newly modified Donny FL silencer that I constructed back with all the right components now that it has baffling in it. I have a new liquid metal that I poured over the top that's going to fill up those holes and wrap it with carbon fiber wrap. We'll see if that makes a difference.